Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. So in this video we are going to show you how you can set up your Magento 2 server on Ubuntu hosted on Azure. So click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Azure. From here what you want to do is that you want to create a new virtual machine so simply click on get it now and then click on continue and then from this page you need to click on create. And then you would be taken to this page where you can customize your virtual machine. So choose the subscription that you have and choose the resource group. Either create a new one or choose an already existing one. Give your virtual machine a name. Choose the region where you want your virtual machine to be deployed. Scroll down. Choose the image and set the size according to your requirements. And for the authentication type, either choose SSH public key or go with the password protected access. For this tutorial, I am going to go with the SSH public key. Then give a username and then click on review plus create. Then you would have to wait for the validation process to complete. After the validation process has completed, simply click on create to actually create that resource. As you can see that we are prompted to download the private key and create resource. So download your private key and place it inside a secure folder because this is the key that you would be using to connect to this particular virtual machine. And then you need to wait for the deployment process to complete. Once the deployment is complete, you need to click on go to resource. And from here you want to copy the public IPv4 address and paste it inside a new tab. Now as you can see that Apache 2 is running on our virtual machine. So we only need to configure Magento on our virtual machine as well. And then coming back to our portal.azure, we need to click on connect and then click on SSH. And then copy this command, either open up a command prompt or a powershell, paste down this command and replace this private key path for the path where you have deployed your private key. After replacing the private key path, simply hit enter and when prompted, type in yes and hit enter again. Now you would be taken to the SSH terminal of your virtual machine. So now we can actually move on to setting up our Magento 2 server on Azure. So. The very first thing that you want to do is that you want to click on the link in the description box which would take you to this particular blog post guide because this blog contains all of the commands that we would be using to set up our Magento server. As you can see that the very first step is to actually create a MySQL database for Magento installation. And before that we need to configure MySQL. So copy the command sudo MySQL secure installation. Go back into your SSH terminal, paste the command and hit enter. Now. The current root password is blank so simply hit enter and you need to set a password for root so type in yes and enter the password for the root access for this Ubuntu installation. Re-enter the password and you're done. Now simply go ahead with the configuration of MySQL. Once that is done, what you want to do is that you want to create a new database for Magento, create a new user for Magento and create some kind of authentication for Magento. So go back to the blog post and copy all of these lines. And by the way, if you want to give a separate name to this particular database, then change it from here. If you want to give a different name to the user, then change it from here. And if you want to give a different password, then change it from here. So I am going to copy all of these lines and paste them inside my SSH terminal and hit enter. Once we have successfully created our database, the database user and the password, we can move on to the next step, which is to get the access keys from Magento's website. So click the link in the description box to come to this website. From here you can create a new account or you can log into an already existing account. From this page you need to go to marketplace and then from here simply click on this drop down icon and choose my profile and then simply click on access keys. So as you can see that I already have my access keys and if you do not have yours simply click on create new access keys and by the way. This public key is used for the username and this private key is used for the password. Once we have the private keys, we can move on to the next step. Now the next step is to actually configure the triple zero default configuration file. So copy the command, head inside the SSH terminal, paste the command and hit enter. Now what you want to do is that you want to add in some new lines to this particular file. So go back to the blog post, copy the lines, come back to the configuration file, come to this place where it says document root. Press I to insert and then delete this document root line. Now what you want to do is that you want to paste in the lines that you have copied. 
and then press escape type in a colon wq and an exclamation mark and hit enter now you want to enable rewrite so type in the command sudo a2n mod rewrite and then you want to restart the service of apache so type in the command sudo systemctl restart apache and hit enter after that is done we can move on to the next step which is to configure the php.ini file so go back to the blog post and copy this line come back to the ssh terminal paste in the line and hit enter now we need to make sure that some of the configuration within this file is what we want it to be so the very first line that you want to make sure is file uploads now this is a very big file it contains almost 2000 lines so to search within this file simply press ctrl plus w and then type in file underscore uploads make sure that it is set to on then search for allow url f open make sure it is also turned on next up press ctrl w again search for short underscore open underscore tag make sure that the default value is on next thing that you want to search for is memory limit you need to change the memory limit from 128 to 256 next up you want to search for upload max file size you need to change this to 100 then you want to search for mac execution time and you want to change it to 360 lastly you want to search for date dot time zone by default you would put your date or your time zone over here but for the sake of this tutorial i am going to put in america and chicago now to save this file simply press ctrl o hit enter and press ctrl plus x and then restart the service of apache by typing in the command sudo systemctl restart apache2 and then we can move on to downloading magento in the apache vhost directory so the very first thing that you want to do for downloading magento is cd into var forward slash www forward slash html now in here you want to download magento so go back to the blog post copy this command and paste it inside your ssh terminal and hit enter now it is going to prompt you to run this command as a root user so type in yes and then it is going to ask you for the username so go back to your magento's page copy the public key and paste it inside the ssh terminal similarly for the password copy the private key and paste it inside the ssh terminal and then it is going to ask you if you want to store the credentials so type in yes or y and hit enter then you would simply have to wait for the downloading process to complete after the magento has been downloaded you want to give some folder permissions to where you have downloaded your magento so head back to the blog post and copy all of these lines and paste them in the ssh terminal and hit enter after that you want to restart the elastic search so type in the command sudo systemctl start elastic search and then you want to type in the command sudo systemctl enable elastic search the next step is to actually install magento with certain configuration so head back to the blog post and only copy the first two lines over here because we want to give the url to our local host or the virtual machine so head back to the ssh terminal paste the command and put in the ip address of your virtual machine now i have already shown you how to get this ip address go back to portal.azure go back one step and copy this public ip address and paste it inside the ssh terminal now hit enter and go back to the blog post and copy the lines from line number three to here which says the db password now while configuring the mysql database we use the password your password so i'm going to paste in these lines and replace the password to the password that i have given it which is your password and then i can simply copy all of the remaining lines and paste them inside my ssh terminal by the way this is the username for the admin account which is admin and this is the password for the admin account which is the admin123 and this is the email so if you want to configure it into a different name to a different email or to a different password you can change them over here when you're satisfied simply hit enter to actually start the installation process of magento with these configurations and then simply sit back and wait till the installation is done once the installation is done you want to set up cron jobs so type in the command sudo bin forward slash magento space cron colon install and hit enter now you would have to wait for a little while for this cron job to be installed into your virtual machine 
After that, you can actually refresh the page of your virtual machine and then access the admin dashboard. So I'm going to come over to this page and refresh it. As you can see that I am able to log into my Luma homepage. Now I want to go into my admin dashboard. So open up my SSH terminal. You can see this admin URL. So I'm going to copy this admin URL and paste it right after my IP address for my virtual machine and hit enter. So it is asking us for the username and the password. Now we know that the username was admin and the password was admin123 and hit enter. Now there is one thing. Now you might be met with this error which is the two-factor authorization error. So there are two ways to work around this error. You can either download the two-factor authorization onto your mobile phone and fulfill it or either you can simply disable this two-factor authorization. Now for the sake of this tutorial, I am going to disable the two-factor authorization. So head back to my blog post. By the way, both of the methods are listed in this particular blog post. So I am going to copy this command and paste it inside my SSH terminal and hit enter. Now as you can see that it says that the following modules have been disabled which is the Magento two-factor authorization. So I can head back to my admin dashboard page and refresh it and I would be able to log into my dashboard because I had already given it the username and the password for the admin account. And there you go, I am able to log into my admin dashboard. So simply press allow. So that is it for this tutorial. If you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave them in the comments section and we will reach out to you as soon as possible. And make sure to check out the link in the description box for the Azure Marketplace listing for Magento 2 server. And also for the step-by-step -step blog post guide available on our website. And if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.